Good morning, beautiful people. I hope you guys are all having the most wonderful day. Uh, so this episode was actually filmed a couple of weeks ago during the winter break, and uh, I'm just gonna get to editing it now because I am back at work. And I had a couple of hours, and I figured I would spend that time uh, editing this video down and getting it out to you guys. So in this video, we are going to make a pretty cool project for a friend from high school. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. So I did a lot of the first part of this at work, and because of that, I have to wear a powered air personal respirator, or pepper. And that's not really conducive to recording my voice. So you guys get to listen to voiceovers. So what I'm doing here is I'm just looking at the wood, just kind of looking at it, feeling it, making sure it's actual wood, lining it up. So the different woods there, the orange is Paduk, the brown is Walnut, and the purple is Purple Heart, and the white stuff is Maple. And believe it or not, it's still wood. Yep. Same attempt at trying to record audio. In three, two, one, go. Alright, so I don't know if you can hear me, but I just marked this edge as the first edge I'm going to use for square. So this is the top, and this is the edge I'm going to run through the edge. Now from the jointer over to the table saw. So I'm going to measure the board to see how much wood I think I can get out of it. And then I'm going to set the fence on the table saw. And you got to give the fence a little tap tap. And so you give me, see me giving the fence some little love taps there and that's to get the line right where I want it. Uh, one of the benefits of doing this at work is that I get access to a table saw that is this nice. This is a really beautiful table saw and I just love using it because I can get really square boards, really nice cuts. I think my next investment, like major investment for the channel might be a really nice table saw. I think it's a good centerpiece to have to any woodworking shop. over to the jointer to square up the other boards and here I am marking the edge that I'm going to run through the jointer. You, once you joint that edge, you put that edge against the fence on the table saw and that way you know the table saw is cutting parallel to the jointed edge. Um, Purple Heart is a wonderful wood to work with. It's really hard and it it's just really nice because you can get it to do specifically what you want because of its hardness. I really enjoy working with Purple Heart. Um, it also is a beautiful wood. I feel like if you use too much of it, it kind of drowns out whatever piece it is you're working on. Uh, Paduk is also just a beautiful wood. I feel a little bit guilty using woods like Paduk because they are listed as not endangered, but they're listed as threatened. Uh, and that is because of over-harvesting. Now it's over to the miter saw to cut the lengths of the boards. And I think I actually cut them to their final length here. Which is weird, because you figure you wouldn't do that, but you know, it's me, so. Out of the table saw to cut things in strips. And you'll notice that I'd already cut a couple of strips before I started recording somehow. And uh, maybe I should have paid more attention to what I was doing. Trying to do or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so that's the Purple Heart. The purple Heart is really hard wood, um, but it's nice to cut. And now I am cutting the Duke. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. 
but it is. And it's a word. Announcing it. It's kind of like that whole thing about how you should be able to go to the library and ask the librarian pronouncing the word properly before you have to say it in public. So this is the maple, and now we are going to cut that to length. Look at me measuring, careful, tape measure, um, and apparently, uh, yeah, there you go. And I'm using a square, oh look at that, I don't even know, cutting it with a table saw, zoop, not a table saw, that's a miter saw, I pay attention to what I'm doing saying something. Now I'm checking to make sure that those boards are the same length. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep, there we go. And they weren't. So I'm going to use one kind of as a guide to cut the other. And then here's where I get a little bit stupid, but not totally stupid. So I'm going to cut everything to length. Um, and so you can see I'm using the maple as a guide and I'm using my finger there to measure and make sure that the purple hearts lined up properly. And I'm cutting that, I'm cutting the duke, I'm cutting more purple heart, cutting more purple heart, more of the duke, and then I've got all those boards cut to length. Now I think at some point I decided that the paduke was just too fatty, fatty, fat, fat, and I decided to cut that down. Um, but first, I'm going to line it all up and realize this pizza skein, pizza peel, would be like eight miles wide if I left it like this. So I'm going to cut it down. Really, what I'm doing here is I'm just figuring out kind of the order, looking at the pattern, seeing what I like, what I don't like, how I want to arrange things, and I'm also realizing that everything is just too big. My spoon is too big. So over to the joiner with the handle. I didn't really do anything with the handle up until now, I don't think. Kind of is just the width that it was when I bought it at Home Depot. Well, handle is walnut and I'm ripping it, or cutting it down to two inches wide and I've got the jointed edge up against the fence of the table saw and that way I can make sure that both edges are parallel. Trimming the end on the miter saw to make sure that the whole thing is square. Next up I'm going to trim down the maple. It's nice because you get these extra little pieces and you can use them for pens. Make a video about that. Oh wait, I already did. Uh, and then I'm trimming down the paduke. And that way, I think I did some math at some point and I figured out how to make the whole thing the width that I want it to be. And then back over to lay it out on the table, measure, make sure it's all right. Now I decided to use a biscuit joiner because the walnut is pretty bowed. You can actually see that it's lifted up on the table there when I'm putting another biscuit in. And a joiner will force the walnut to be flat. So you draw some lines on the boards, cut your biscuit holes, shove your biscuit in, biscuits, biscuit and The butter and the butter. The butter, I just said the butter, I meant the glue. It's kind of like gravy. And so you spread the glue. Notice I'm spreading it with my fingers. There's probably a brush somewhere, but you know, I have to go find it. And there you go. Glue, spread it with your fingers. Put some biscuits in, some more glue on the other side. And then we should all be. And what it's going to do is they're going to force the handle to be straight. Oh, got that one backwards, upside down. Nope, it was right. There you go. Boom. Look at that. And put the whole thing together. Backwards. And then I flipped the whole thing over just because it was easier to manage. 
Trying to get big chunks instead of lots of little chunks. Now I have to wear a paper at work even when nobody's there because you never know. This was over Christmas break. And I was in there working. One of our lovely custodians, one of my coworkers, decided to come in and talk to you. Now, our district policy is that we have to wear masks when kids are around. But it was Christmas break, so he wasn't wearing a mask. And he decided to hang out and talk. All right, you guys, I am, part of me, wants to apologize for ending the video like this. And another part of me is like, well, it's build season, and I'm amazed that I'm getting a video done at all. So, um, we're gonna end the video there. We will finish the pizza peel in the next video. I hope you guys understand. And, uh, yeah, all right. I hope you guys all have the best rest of your day possible.